This is Steve from Boxing UK in association with Supreme CBD. Johnny Nelson, we finally here. How on earth did this get made? Never thought this day to come, yeah. uh, but eventually it's here now. So uh, let the fight and do the talking. Uh, lots of things that can be said and not said, and people can, you know, dig under the belt and say certain things to try and wind the other up on both sides. Uh, but this is all, this is all, these are all trinkets. You know, it's when the bell goes. You know, mano or mano, that's what it's about. Why now do you think, Johnny? Because most of us that have followed the sport for any length of time thought this would never happen. What do you think's actually got it over the Chances. line? Choices. Okay. It's got, there's probably no other choice. There's not probably a, um, uh, something where you think you know. Or, you know, yes, maybe it should have happened well, how many years ago. But I think both fighters, they'll be, be more actually a more exciting fight now because they're going to hit more. They both slow down. They both do. If you'd have asked me ten years ago, I'd have said calm beats book. Five years ago, I said book beats calm. Now, you know, it's, it's that it's brought it that close together. It's just mad. The general feeling in the room, even from both camps, is it's a matter of who's least damaged. Would you go along with that? That's exactly right. That's exactly right. So when the bell goes, everybody can make a whole different stories about what's going to go on in, in, in camp and everything. But it doesn't mean diddly. When the bell goes, it's like who's got what left? Who's been damaged the most? Whose reactions are going to be on point? You know, that's what it's going to be about. And nothing else. So all this talk, we just think it. It just talks. Speaking of just talk, the Sky Bleep Earl have been going some at that press conference. What did you make of that? I expected that. I, yeah. I said, listen, be careful. It's going to get a bit dirty. Yeah. You know, it's going to get a bit low. And that's, that's, uh, that's, well, that's what's going to happen. It's going to get dirty and low. And that's what's to be expected. Um, because these guys don't like each other. What can you do about it? You know, it's, it's emotion. It's human emotion. I'm not, listen, I'm not condoning it because it wasn't called for what I expected it because of how these fans feel about each other. Is the one who dislikes the other one the most, Johnny? Not that it's important, but they both declare that they really don't like the other one. I actually think Khan probably dislikes Cal more than Cal dislikes Khan. <coughs> um, because Cal is saying, look, this guy's not showing me, give him my props, you show him respect, we know each other. Why are you doing that? You know, and Khan's like dismissing him like he doesn't exist. So I don't know, and whatever the reason is, that's what they're doing. You were closer than most on the gloves are off, which was excellent by the way. Did, did you pick up anything that we might not have seen between the two? Yeah, uh, one, there's no bullshit involved. Two, that, uh, Khan is a lot more smooth media-wise, a lot more savvy. He's got it together there because he's done it from being a kid. Um, and three of that, both fighters really believe they're going to win. And usually when you do that show, you can tell when one's hustling and BSing his way through the conversation. Um, but no, not at all. I actually think um, we've got two fighters that believe they're going to win. Can I ask what Johnny Nelson thinks? Can you break it down for us, Johnny? Um, yeah, all week I've been saying 50-50. I won't put my house on it. I still won't put my house on it. I'll put a pound on it. <laughs> uh, and I'd, I'd side with Cal Brook. I'd side with Cal Brook because of the timing. I think if any fight, if both fighters have slowed down a little bit, it would suit Cal more than it would suit Khan. Uh, I'm saying it on the fact that after watching Kel's, uh, Khan's fight against Crawford, his, his, his speed had gone, and then I saw how vulnerable he looked, and I couldn't believe how vulnerable he looked. So if I'm seeing that, that tells me uh, that, tell, that tells me um, so much more. You've known Kel for quite a while. Just what would this mean for him to get a win over me, Khan? It, it'd be the same for both fighters. It means the world because. The general public will forget about all the achievements they've had up to that fight. Yeah. All, the, all the remembrance is fine. So Which is unfair in a way, isn't it? Because they're both yeah, esteemed. Does. So unless you're into boxing, then you'll, you'll, you'll say, yeah, you did this, this and this. But the general public will not actually, will not actually get it. Yeah. Can I take you back to Sheffield in the summer? Last summer, we were at a fight zone show. And it was just after the Sky, matchroom leaving Sky. And you said, no comment, but we'll be all right. You're all right, aren't you? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So it's, listen, Sky have been doing this for 30 odd years and, and, and they know the formula to success. The one thing you can't pretend to have by borrowing pretend to have is experience. Sky's got bundles of it. So, um, so look how they start the year. You know, how many times are you going to walk in the pub and see the Sky fight on the, on the TV in the pub? How many times are you going to, how many people are talking about this? It's going to be box office. You know, look at the press that's turned off. It's like going to an AJ fight. 
So, so it just shows that they've got a formula that they understand works and it works really well. Can we quickly chat about Natasha Jonas? Yeah. If any female deserves to win the no. world title, it's Natasha, isn't it? She's got a tough fight. She got a tough fight, and I wouldn't be surprised if she lost. Trust me, I wouldn't be surprised. So she jumped up what two, three weights. Yeah. Give her like height and reach. I'm like, that's what you're doing, man. She wants to get a title. She got a tough fight. So, um, but you know, if there's anybody you hope is like be able to just eventually retire with her title, it's Tash. But it's just a tough ball. It's a tough fight. Though. Can I ask you a couple away from this, Johnny? Uh, just the next two Sky cards, you've got Taylor Catrell next week, how do you see that one? Beautiful. I think Taylor's the best of the best. Uh, I think uh, for the locals it's going to be brilliant, it's going to be a great atmosphere. Uh, but Taylor, he's, uh, he's cut up, you know, and I've put him up there with, with all of them, man. He's, uh, he's a done. Next one, a question you've probably been asked to death, Fury White. Can you get anything uh, going on? Proved that he's the best in the world. White's got to prove that he can beat it. And so to go against Fury after everything he's done, you'd be kind of stupid. He showed every uh, every every different style of fight to beat different fighters, fights that everyone's avoided like to play. So you can't go against him. So so White's got to prove what he can do. I know what White's capable of doing. So he's got to prove that, uh, and that's it. So so you just got to go with what you see. Is Ben Shalom involved with Dillian, Johnny? Because there was something came out where Ben had got in touch with Dillian to represent them for this fight. And obviously you put two and two together and think, all right, boxer. Do you know anything? No. I don't believe you, but I'm not push. <laughs> uh, last one, Johnny. Why should fans tune in on Saturday? Saturday night, um, they should tune in because this fight will be ridiculous. You can't get any fight any roar than this. You've got two guys that, that will give it their all, that are trained to the best of their ability. You've got two guys that really believe they're going to win. And when you've got fighters like that, that believe they're going to win, you get an amazing fight. And I think this fight, fingers crossed, nobody gets caught, nobody breaks a hand, nobody whatever. Fingers crossed, this will be one of those fights that people are talking about everywhere. It's create debate. You know, even if you're not into boxing, this is that fight. This is that fight for this year. And why do I still think there's going to be some controversy before the final bell, Johnny? Oh yeah, I totally agree with you. I told you. Today's not a surprise, tomorrow won't be a surprise. We'll see. Can't wait. Johnny Nelson, really appreciate your Best. time. Thank you. Thank you.